Let's uh, it's 3 30 a.m. What is that? Sunday morning, it's June 7th. Could have an earthquake today, huh? Is it a good day for an earthquake? <coughs> it was uh, a plane crash today. Or yesterday, whatever you call it. There was a train and a plane that crash. The train coming down from Canada with oil. Crash right over the border and wipe out a town in America with fire. Wipe out a bar, people are there drinking. More gone. And then there was a plane in San Francisco. <coughs> people, let me tell you something. You is under judgment in America and elsewhere on this Baphomet earth. Here I is under judgment. If you hear of the Sumerian generals, if you hear of the Anunnaki, if you hear of Amenibro's Imperial Majesty's Lightship, You hear of Planet X, Dark Star, Brown Dwarf, Nibiru. If you hear of those things, you hear of the eye, and you hear of Judgment Time. You hear the Judgment Time ringing? Steer. So San Francisco, you're seeing supernatural events of the Anunnaki coming here to warn you. But your, your overlords, your dark overlords, your Freemason governments, part of the Nephilim, don't want you to know your history and your truth your truth of your creation, or your elevation. Let us talk about the truth of your elevation into humanity and civilization. Different from your creation, let's talk of your elevation. As Christ himself, Jesus Christ was elevated into the order of Melchizedek. So, these things is above the human race. And what happened with that San Francisco plane, if you want to do code breaking on it, there's a first photo that came out that showed some passengers walking out. And the plane was there in the background, some chutes, and they were walking out across some dry ground. And some smoke was coming up in the background of the plane. You go and look at that photograph carefully. There's no smoke coming out of the plane. The doors are open with the people in there. No one's panicking. People are walking with their bag getting out orderly. So how could that smoke be in the plane? Look carefully, you see it wasn't in the plane, it was in the background, way behind the plane. Number one. Number two, if you look at the simulations, the plane could never have stopped so quickly after hitting the abutment. I estimate it was about 10 or 12 plane lengths at the most, more like 9 plane lengths, it stopped already. Number two. 
Number three, initial witness statements talked about the plane cartwheeling. They were amazed that they used a man and a woman they both described as cartwheeling. This is the Anunnaki, the giants. These are the, the, the original crew of creation, you know. Maybe you call them Saint Michael and Gabriel. You can have different names. We're in Revelation, people. You can call it Apocalypse, too. So you have those witness statements of the plane actually doing somersaults in the air, which is confirmed when you know how the Anunnaki generals work to mystify and warn you. You also have the, the dirt tracks. If you look at the dirt tracks, you're going to see it doesn't look right. If a plane came crashing down, they would dig up and be scattered. This was put down by the Anunnaki. <clears throat> Additionally, you have perfect weather there. There's no reason for this crash. So that's a code breaking. What you have, remember, you have this news, this fake Baphomet news media, which is constructed to cover up these surreal events which do happen some of them happen and have to be covered up because of the Nephilim abduction treaty that some of the bad forces have with the government these Draco Freemason governments have an abduction treaty that requires them to keep this hidden from the population and that is the news media and this fake news. That's why they're so good at it. They're prepared for all type of scenario. This is not the first. This is how it goes. This is how they keep us in the mental bondage in this slavery system. They, they, they have advanced from the whips and chains into this mental matrix, mental and spiritual matrix. That's the San Francisco crash. Additionally, you know, you can look at, they came from South Korea, and, you, and they forget about the young man in North Korea declare war on them in America.